Standard Enthalpy Change of Formation, Delta HF. So the definition is, the standard enthalpy change of formation is the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is formed from its elements in their standard states under standard conditions. And standard conditions are 298K and 101.3 kilopascals of pressure. So we can use standard enthalpy change of formation values to calculate the overall enthalpy change for a reaction. And we can use this equation. So it's the enthalpy change is equal to the sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation of the products minus the sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation of the reactants. We can find the standard enthalpy change of formation values in the data booklet. And the last point, the free elements, such as oxygen or hydrogen, they have a value of zero because they are not forming from anything because they are just elements. So let's try an example. We're going to use delta HF, so the standard enthalpy of formation values, to calculate the overall enthalpy change for this reaction. So we have C3H8, which is propane, and it's burning in oxygen gas to give carbon dioxide and water. And I've written in the standard enthalpy change of formation values from the data booklet. So for propane, it's negative 105 kilojoules per mole. Oxygen is zero because oxygen is an element. Carbon dioxide is negative 394 kilojoules per mole. And water is negative 286 kilojoules per mole. But because we have three moles of carbon dioxide, we multiply the value in the brackets by three. And the same for the water, we have four moles of water, so we multiply everything in these brackets by four. So here's the equation that we use. The change in enthalpy equals the sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation of the products minus the sum of the enthalpy of formation of the reactants. So when you add them all together, you get uh, negative 2,326 minus negative 105, because the 105 is the propane, is the reactants, and the total we get is negative 2,221 kilojoules per mole. So that's the change in enthalpy for this reaction using standard enthalpy of formation values. Next is the standard enthalpy change of combustion, which is delta H Comb. Comb means combustion. So the definition, the standard enthalpy change of combustion is the enthalpy change when one mole of substance burns completely in oxygen under standard conditions. And here's the equation that we can use. So it's the change in enthalpy equals the sum of the standard enthalpy change of combustion of the reactants minus the sum of the standard enthalpy change of combustion of the products. Now, you may recall that the previous example where we used delta H of formation values, it was products minus reactants. But when you use combustion values, delta H combustion values, it's reactants minus products. So here's an example. We're going to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction, and we're going to use standard enthalpy changes of combustion. So this is ethene reacting with hydrogen to make ethane. And I've written in the values all in kilojoules per mole. So it's negative 1411, hydrogen is negative 286, and ethane is 1560. So here's the equation that we use. And we're going to add up the sum of the standard enthalpy changes of combustion for the reactants. So the reactants are obviously on the left side of the arrow, minus the sum of the standard enthalpy changes of combustion for the products on the right side of the arrow. So when we substitute in the values, we end up with negative 1,697 minus, and in brackets, negative 1,560. And that gives us an enthalpy change using standard enthalpy changes of combustion of negative 137 kilojoules per mole.